So, herzlich willkommen zurück bei Part 2 Star Trek, das Videospiel. Weiter geht's. Kann man da wieder, da brauchen wir eh nichts. So, weiter geht's und Räder. Erreichen Sie, okay. Ah, der Feser kühlt ab. We should engage mag boots now, sir. The solar collector is failing. We must avoid direct exposure. That shoot is gonna melt off your back. Get into cover, Spock. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Wait for it. Go, now. Spring. Und sie. Bei mir halt. Für Cover. Und Deckung. Es wird hart hier. Ich bin unsicher, wie viel mehr Exposure unsere Suits können handeln. Schnell, 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 schnell. Whose idea was this anyway? I believe it was yours, sir. Right. Jetzt werden reden, werden reden jetzt ein bisschen blöd, immer das unten das lesen. Boah. So schnell, 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 schnell. Ausgegangen. Ich wieder mal eine Tür aufmachen. Was war? Die Zeit hätten. Lieutenant, wir haben die Station's Core. Wir suchen, was für weitere Assistance du kannst. Die einzige Weg vorwärts ist, die Core zu schließen. To do this, you will need to work together. One of you must scan the control console to stop the ring. This will allow the other person to engage the locking mechanism. Commander, I must warn you, a manual shutdown under these circumstances is highly risky. Got gotcha. you. We should split up. Ah, the one's back up. Okay, let's go. Shot. That's the locking mechanism. Spock can slow down the ring long enough. I can shoot. Now would be a good time to shoot the lock. Ah, that's okay. Success, Captain. We must repeat the maneuver for the remaining rings. Ja, still. So, do we need to come again or? Jetzt mal die nächste Brücke suchen, ja. Äh, Ich bin wirklich nicht weit entfernt, also... Das müsste doch die Rechnung schon das gleiche wieder sein, oder? One of us will need to stop the ring, so the other can shoot the break. Äh... Perhaps a phaser blast would release the mechanism. Ah. Okay, it's good. Perfect. So we're going to next block, eh? Just one more ring to go. One ring more. Just block, eh? That's it, my friend. Got 
Will the guards come here? Do you just sit down? Where are you? Come on, come on! Chee, chee, chee! Oh! This place is falling apart! Fuck this will. Captain, now would be a good time to shoot the locking mechanism. Ah, da geht's weiter, okay. Denk mal in Deckung. Wo müssen wir hin? Da unten? Aha. Da geht er auf C weiter und dann steht er auf. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're through the core. Let's find that strand. Oh, I'm lost again. Ah, there. Let's come out of this window. Let's get into the station. Ah, jetzt lädt sich wieder was auf, okay. Schießt sich auf den Blei, checkt um eine Deckung, um sich zu erschaffen, okay. Captain, life support is now at 4% and failing. Transporter is still unable to obtain a reliable signal. Let me worry about the transporter. Just get your people ready to beam out. What are you waiting for? I was speaking to my captain. It's all right, Commander. Do as he says. Aye, Captain. Ah, Captain. I don't believe we've met. I'm uh, James Kirk, captain of the USS Enterprise. And you are? I am in need of assistance, Captain. Tomorrow? Mr. Spock, it is a relief to see you here. Tomorrow, in what way can we assist you? Our station has experienced a complete loss of power. Our transporter functions are also unreliable. There does not appear to be a safe way to beam out. There's always a way. Scotty, think you can get a lock on me? I'll try, sir. So how do you two know each other? We were classmates back on Vulcan. Just classmates. I realize this may be difficult for you to understand, Captain, but on Vulcan relationships between the sexes do not automatically imply an intimate past. Another reason I'm glad I'm not a Vulcan. What are you doing? Ist da jetzt davon gelaufen? Okay. Rekorder. Wo geht's hin? 17 Meter, aber da müssen wir vielleicht. Da ja. Ja genau. Ich habe Manual Law, Captain. Ready and waiting for transport. See? There's always a way. After you, Captain. I will not leave this vessel until my crew is safely out of danger. As a captain yourself, I'm sure you would do the same. I like this one. 
There are a few that you do not like, Captain. Prepare to energize. Thank you. mit Absätze, sehr gut. Schaut zwar hübsch aus, aber praktisch ist es nicht wirklich, oder? Ah, es wird gespeichert. Aber einen Speicherpunkt machen wir da mindestens noch. So, jetzt bringt mal hier. Ja, das ist richtig. Ja, wir runnen eh schon. Schau mal. Und gut bei Station. Das war das Tutorial, quasi. Hm. Ah, die Enterprise. Was? Are you all right, Captain? I'm definitely better now, thanks. Captain, we have a problem. <sighs> Another one? What is it, Mr. Chekhov? I... I think you need to see for yourself. Tomorrow, a simple solar flare should not have caused the loss of power to your station. Do you know the origin of your vessel's malfunction? It did not malfunction. Uh, didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary stars. However, all of the station's primary controls were operated from a base located on a nearby planet. What planet? We are calling it New Vulcan. So it is true. <coughs> so, let's go right there. Three quarter. Keep saying it was... Oh, forget this. Mal hin, dann machen. Okay. Ich habe es hinten grün ist, schätze ich mal, wir müssen da nach hinten. Ja. Spock, as you know, after the destruction of Vulcan, we have been searching for a suitable planet to rebuild our race. New Vulcan seemed perfect. However, a project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirach. Never heard of him. Sirach is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Uh, sorry? Why would Sirach shut down power to your station? He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly? This just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge. <coughs> yeah. 
Ist eine Brücke. Viele Wege gibt es da eh nicht, dass wir schon mal noch richtig gezogen haben. Tor da, jawohl. Ja, rechts hier die Brücke. Ja, da gibt es nicht mehr quasi. Zum da der Seite, Speicherung, sehr gut. Da rein. Und wahrscheinlich so warten wir noch auf sie, ja genau. Und los geht's durch die Brücke. Mr. Chekhov, tell me something. It is highly unusual, sir, but I believe it's some kind of reap in the actual fabric of space. Oh, like a wormhole? Something like that, sir. It appears to be a shortcut through space. Where does it lead? There is no way to know for sure, Commander. I believe that rip is the reason my father ordered the Helios machine to be shut down. Then we need to talk to him right away. Lieutenant Uhura hail new Vulcan. Aye, Captain. It is no use, Captain. We lost communication with them when the Helios machine was shut down. Captain, scans indicate the rip is contracting. At the current rate, it will be gone in approximately 12 hours. Good. The fewer anomalies we have to deal with, the better. Captain, no response to our hails. Mr. Sulu, bring us in range of new Vulcan. We're going down there. Right, see the room. I must request permission to join you, Captain. Spark, are you sure that's within protocol? I mean, maybe we should just send Scotty and some recruits. Captain, I hope the importance of New Vulcan is not lost on you. Our people cannot afford another tragedy. This planet is the best hope for our race to prosper. Noted. Then you should also note that having a Vulcan as a member of your away team would be essential to the success of this mission. And I am the only one on this ship that has ever been on the surface of New Vulcan or has experience with the Helios all machine. All right, all right, all right. Great. Now there's two of you guys drive me nuts. <laughs> Transport ready, Captain. Scotty. My phaser, Mr. Scott. I've put some wee modifications on it, just like you asked. But I've been working on some other options, too. I've got phase cannons, photon disruptors, and wait till I show you mm. these plasma rifles. Still working out a few things. My phaser will do, Mr. Scott. I guess you don't want to hear about the stasis grenades, then. Nasty little buggers. But if you want your phaser, here's your phaser. Ah, es gibt nur den Silbernen und ich hab... Aber eigentlich den roten, oder? Na, schau mal. Further out, and I'd be back in Iowa, Mr. Scott. Sorry, sir. Too much interference. I had to drop you outside. Yeah, let me just say, part two. Quiet around here. Is that normal tomorrow? Negative, Captain. Part two here, mal gleich zu Ende und in Kürze gibt's part three. Yeah, and nebenbei. Ich habe mein roter Phaser, weil man oben den normalen Standard 7 eingeben hat, aber das nur so am Rande. Okay, bis gleich aber zu Part 3. Ciao, ciao.